Why do we never hear about MARSOC? MARSOC stands for Marine Corps Forces Special Operations Command. They also go by the name Marine Raiders or just Raiders. MARSOC's mission is to recruit, organize, train, equip, and deploy task-oriented, scalable Expeditionary Marine Corps Special Operation Forces worldwide to accomplish special operation missions. Well, that was a doozy, MARSOC. So, we always hear about Navy SEALs, Special Forces, even Army Rangers. And some people would even argue Army Rangers are not on the same level of classification as a Marine Raider. The Marine Raiders have always intrigued me due to the fact that we never really hear about them. When was the last time we have seen a Marine Raiders movie? Or a book that came out from a former MARSOC operator? Navy SEALs tend to take up all of that space. Formed in 2006, MARSOC was sort of thrown together and not given a clear-cut mission. When I say clear-cut, I mean like Navy SEALs operate sea, air, land, special forces train foreign militaries. So what exactly was the need for MARSOC? Why did the Marines need their own special operations group? The US military essentially had all of their missions covered with Navy SEALs, special forces, even the Air Force has a very well-balanced and respected special operations group. However, MARSOC is very important to SOCOM, or Special Operations Command, and especially to the Marines. The Raiders are a key component to the US Marines because it sets a standard to what a Marine can be. You see in the Army there is a high standard such as Delta Force or just the Green Berets. And if you're the best soldier in your unit and you want to try out for one of these organizations, that is the highest level of soldier you can be in the US Army. The Marines were lacking this high standard of Marine within their organization. Also, when you look at all of the individual branches of the military, they are all self-sustainable. With their own air forces, watercrafts, logistical units. So, having an elite special operations unit really completes your organization. Another important note is this. 2006 was when MARSOC officially was raised up. This was an interesting time for a special operations unit to be formed considering the United States was in the middle of two wars and the mass amounts of deployments and training was insane. The original founding fathers of the group were essentially seasoned veterans out of Force Recon. Oftentimes we hear about Force Recon when you talk about the Marines and their special sort of units. But those guys coming out of Force Recon into MARSOC was interesting because technically Force Recon is not a part of SOCOM. Bringing in guys from Force Recon was the only proper move MARSOC could make. Otherwise, MARSOC would not have the Marine mentality and culture built into the organization. Let's get one thing straight about MARSOC. They are highly respected in the special operations community. So even if the first founding fathers of MARSOC were not technically in special operations command, it seemed to not matter because what MARSOC is today is absolutely incredible. It's nearly impossible to find a negative thing about MARSOC and their battlefield effectiveness. A Marine is a Marine, without a doubt some of the toughest troops on the battlefield. So the quality MARSOC gets to pick from in the Marines definitely works in their favor. But let's answer the main question, why do we never hear about MARSOC? My answer is this. In all reality, we are not even supposed to know about any special operations group. With MARSOC being as young as it is, they have been able to hide under the radar and complete their missions. Navy SEALs and the Army Special Forces do of course use publicity in their favor to recruit from the public and even within their own selected branches. But MARSOC almost has this mystique about them that really works in their favor. They are that unit that is absolutely deadly on the battlefield and super effective in anything they do, but we do not know much about them. That is a very scary and proper special operations group.